This is me, Paco. A bomb. I have nothing left but my strong moral values and my dignity. And nobody can take that away from me. Before I became a nobody, I grew up happily in Sevilla, Spain, back in the 1960s. At that time, the country was under the rule of dictator General Franco. I spent my youth in an orphanage. Those were happy times. The sisters were very kind. They tried to teach me the importance of morality in life. However, I was not a good student. My mind was on other things. I wanted to be an artist. Paco! Paco! Vas a ir derecho al infierno. Esto es un pecado mortal. Un pecado mortal! I was still in the eighth grade, at the age of 18, with no idea of what I was supposed to do with my life. So they took me to see Mother Superior. Bueno, por lo menos has aprendido algo. Pero aquí no podemos mantenerte toda tu vida. Creo que tengo lo apropiado para ti. So I went to Madrid to work for a friend of Mother Superior. Guillermo, ven para acá. Guillermo, este es Paco. Ven adelante, voy a trabajar los dos juntos. Está bien, está bien. Pane. ¿Qué es este beso? Es una obscenia. <coughs> bueno, lo que dice el jefe, ¿eh? De todas formas, lo tenemos que quitar. Se corta aquí, aquí se pega y ya está. Y eso lo vas a intentar tú en la mesa. ¿Vale? Vale. At that moment, I knew I had found my place in the world. Si no sabes qué cortar, consulta el manual. Little by little, censorship in Spain was fading away. We could only cut films with very offensive content. But we were having fun. as happy as I had ever been, until one day. They closed the censorship offices. Guillermo and I separated. Suddenly, my life had no purpose. I thought I had found my calling, but then it was gone. I had to find another job. 
The days passed slowly, and I could find no work. So I prayed to God, and still nothing. I prayed some more, but I just wasn't good at anything. Dios mío, ayúdame. Por favor, dame una señal. Frank Guillermo offering me a job in New York City. So, with the little money I had, I took a flight to the United States of America, land of opportunity, jazz, baseball, and ketchup. Estos americanos no aguantan los que no hablan su idioma. Y si tienes alguna duda, mira el diccionario. So, every time there's a curse word, you push the button. And then, the final tape goes down to the writing department, where they come up with a new word to replace the curse word. La palabrota. Ah. Ah, vale, vale. And then it goes to the sound floor, okay, where they have an actor say the new word, okay? And then... Wait, wait, wait. All I have to do is push the button. Yeah, basically. That's pretty easy. We we'll try. This one, no? No, no. Oh. With our new discovery, oh, it was just like old times. times. I want to watch Charlie's Angels tonight. It's a great show. Guillermo Knife, protecting people's Let morals and civilities. So what you do then? I blur the tits. Oh. We were at the head of the growing morality industry. It seemed like things couldn't get any better. You wanna go for lunch? At 11.30? No, thanks. Hey, Arlene. Bitch. Did you forget something? What's going on here? Uh, nothing. I, I just have some technical difficulties.
Arlene. The guy from Spain. W would you like to try the game sometime? <sighs> it was amazing. Holy shit. My God. You fuck with the racers. Unbelievable. Yeah. I never heard anybody cars more in your life. But I guess it's okay. Paco, the film we edited yesterday is on TV. Wanna see it? Sure. They told me never to show my face at the network again. Life was playing tricks on me once more. What exactly was your job? I was an editor of content. What the hell is that? Well, you know those beeps on the TV when there is a bad word? Oh, shit! I can't believe it. <laughs> You're the guy that does that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shirley, this guy here used to put those beeps on the swine and TV. Oh, those are so fucking annoying. Who used to do those? This guy. Hey, Carl Murray. Morrell? Can you believe somebody actually did that shit for a living? What's wrong with the world today? Where can I find people who care about morality and family values? Well, at least I still have my good friend Guillermo. And you take the top bunk. The TV works and... Guillermo? What's going on? I thought you would be going back to Spain. What kind of cheap excuse is that? You, you know I have no reason to go back. I'm sorry. I just can't help you out. I need a roommate who can pay the rent. You're going to let me down after all these years? I'm very sorry. I can give you a few bucks. So here I am, a bum, in this filthy world where everyone is immortal. I have no job, no money, no woman, no roof over my head, no nothing. Just my dignity and my strong moral values. And nobody can take that away from me.